I'm James. This is Crazy Plains RC. This is one of the th uh, projects we have that uh, you can actually download and build. Uh, you print it on your own printer and tile, tile glue it together like a poster. Uh, this is the kind of quality you can have with it. Here is a standard sized version that I finished just a few minutes ago. Um, if you want to build it without the landing gear, that's uh, that's fine. It saves you a little time and money. Uh, let me get something else here to show you. This is one that you, if you want to invest in a little bit of uh, music wire and a couple of little cheap uh, wheels that you can get like from Hobby King or your local hobby shop. You can do that as well. It's a uh, it's got a little springy front end on it, um, keeps it at a high angle, so it'll take off real, real well. Um, with this landing gear, you can actually land this plane. Uh, if you want to, hover it in and just drop it on the landing gear like that. Um, I usually land them in about a foot or two. Uh, that's all it takes. Uh, this plane is so high performance that you can climb straight up out of sight while doing victory rolls if you want to. Uh, you can fly it around like a little race race cart, uh, never never banking and yanking. You can do it that way if you want to. Or you can just fly it in a flat turn. Uh, Looks like it's on a track of some sort. It's a crazy racer. Uh, it's probably about the craziest, wildest plane you put your hands on. Uh, it's really cheap. Uh, cost maybe Four or five dollars for all the parts, uh, excluding your metal parts and uh, electronics and motor and stuff like that. Of course, that you'll probably have off of a broken airplane that you've got. Uh, maybe you don't want to put out a hundred fifty, two hundred dollars for an airplane and then turn around and break it again, uh, where you can print one out, build it, and if you smash it. Uh, that you can't just straighten it out and popsicle it, uh, stick back together with a little hot glue. Uh, if it gets beyond that, well then print you another one. Uh, usually takes about uh, a couple, three hours to print one out and build it. Uh, change the parts back over from the other one onto this one and uh, you'll be flying in just a few hours rather than having to build and build and build. Uh, makes it rather quick. Uh, of course, with uh, ARF planes and uh, bind and fly, uh, you can you can be in, in the air air in just a uh, few minutes, but it costs uh, typically about a hundred two hundred dollars per plane. This is much much cheaper. If you want to build the standard size, that's a standard size. This is 130 percent give you an idea of the change in size and that was just uh, putting 130 percent instead of 100 percent on your printer on the PDF file here's 200 percent if you want a big mama jama uh, you, you can do that you know it's quite a bit of difference this one is two layers of foam board uh, the top one is one but the bottom one is two you could probably build it with one layer if you want to. Uh, size uh, is irrelevant. When you go to printing them, you can print them up uh, 300, 400 percent, <laughs> whatever uh, you want to print it. Uh, if you want to buy enough foam boards to put it together, it's not limited to the 20 by 30 inch Dollar Tree or Ross foam board that you. Uh, get either Dollar Tree or the Ross you would get at Walmart. Uh, it's not limited to that. You can use the half inch uh, board, the insulation board that you get at Lowe's, Home Depot, things like that. So it's not limited to any particular foam. And pardon the lights, I've got to work on those. Uh, it's on a sensor and I'm not in front of the, front of the sensor. Um, but um, you can get numerous different styles of foam 
You can even make a super large one if you want to do that uh, using two inch foam. I've never seen anything that big. Um, but uh, what is practical is the half inch foam. Um, half inch or three quarters, more likely the half inch foam. White foam that you can get uh, uh, at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. There's some other foam board there too that's uh, it's kind of a blue foam. It's called e, uh, EPS foam. Uh, it's a little more dense, a little bit heavier, but it's a lot more rugged. And you can actually uh, uh, use that if you want to, and it, it comes out rather light. It make a really big one. Um, this is probably a quarter inch thick. A little more, somewhere like that, quarter inch thick. You can imagine half inch thick. Well, you can make one uh, as, as big as this whole table here if you want to. It's eight feet long. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, size is uh, really irrelevant. Just depends on what you want to uh, build. Um, just go for it. Uh, beauty of it is if you bust an airframe, no big deal. Uh, cost you a little bit of foam, whatever you used for the original one. Uh, in this case, a uh, dollar. Dollar tree foam board. Um, this is our piece of Ross board here. I, I don't know, this, this might be Dollar Tree. This one is Ross board. It's a little smoother. Uh, it's less impervious to water and dew and things like that, so I like to use it a little, a little more. But you can use Dollar Tree foam board if you want to. Uh, it works just as well. I mean, you just got to watch about putting, you know, letting dew fall on it or laying it on the grass or something because uh, it'll it'll bubble up and delaminate if you do that. Uh, if you want to peel the the uh, Dollar Tree paper off? You can. Uh, it's real easy to do. I'll bring something here, get something for you. Uh, here's what you need. Uh, you can get uh, a jug of this at uh, Dollar Tree, same place you get the board. It's called Amazing Orange. Uh, that's a dollar, probably dollar twenty-seven by now time inflation went, went up on the Dollar Tree. But you can get the bottle, spray bottle, same place, uh, full of product. Uh, it, this was a dollar, but again, dollar twenty-seven now I'd say. Uh, but all you do is spray it on the board, just kind of lightly spray it on the board where it covers all of it. Wait about 30 seconds and, and the paper almost falls off. It just it uh, comes off so easy it's unbelievable. So you can de-paper the Dollar Tree foam board and, and glue your type paper that you're printing this on right over the foam. And this is what you use to glue it on with. I'll show you more about that later. Uh, there's a couple sizes here if you, if you will. Elmer's uh, it's school glue. It's the purple kind, like that. It goes on purple, so you can see that you got plenty of coverage, and it disappears. You don't see any purple no more after about 15-20 minutes. This one is good for edges when you're gluing a tile board up, you know, like you're gluing the different pieces of uh, type paper together to make the full size one, like this. So uh, this one took probably I think 12 or 16 uh, pieces of uh, time paper to make it. This one, the 200%, <laughs> took a lot more than that. Um, but uh, if you uh, if you use uh, your, your printer, and most people do, just do be uh, aware that it will go through plenty of ink. Uh, so you, you need, it's better to find the remanufactured cartridges, if you will. Uh, nowadays, you can buy a cartridge uh, refillable for most uh, printers, and you just uh, refill them yourself without having to pay that uh, 18 20 25 30 40 dollars for per cartridge. Uh, that's a way uh, ink comp the uh, ink companies <laughs> rob you of a lot of money every every time you fill uh, buy one of their brand new. Uh, Hewlett Packard or whatever you know 
cartridge, it's it's going to be premium price. But you you, you can refill them. Uh, I've I've got some tips on that, and you can find it all over eBay. Loads of it uh, with refillable cartridges for that particular cartridge, if you wish. Anyway, we'll cover more later on. Um, more detail. Um, we'll even cover some areas in here that, um, I mean, we'll cover some uh, video of setup, how to set it up, adjust it, how it should fly, balance it, all that stuff uh, will be covered. Uh, how to glue these tile uh, papers together to where you can get the full size uh, board to, to cover it with. Uh, I'll give you every bit of the detail on it, but do know that uh, each design will cost you probably 99 cents. So that's for the template and maybe one of the graphics that uh, that most people like to uh, see. This this one was uh, uh, one uh, it's a, I call it the monster. Uh, it's kind of a rat paint looking thing. We uh, redesigned it a little bit. Pardon the. Uh, We redesigned it a little bit. Pardon the lights. I've still got to work on the lights a little bit. Uh, it, I'm not in front of the sensor that turns it on and off. But uh, we'll uh, on the price on it. Uh, you buy one template and get a graphic. But we're going to offer numerous graphic options, so you can buy a different kind of graphic if you want to. So if you don't like the monster on there. Maybe you like a, a Shizu or a cat or uh, all kinds of things. Uh, surfer, you know, there's zillions of things. We'll even put different uh, motors. You can put a, a motor on there that uh, has got a big blower on the top of it, or uh, even a different color of uh, fenders if you want to. Each design is going to have a lot of options where you can uh, download whatever you want to do. Or maybe you don't even want the graphics with it. You can just cut the uh, parts out with a template. And this is foam board. It's art board. You can actually do your own. The kids love it. Uh, get the crayons out, the markers, and really dress it up. Make it any way. If you want Star Spangled Banner on there, <laughs> uh, flags, you name it, got another crazy plane that's got a flag on it, so let me show you that. Just as an idea, uh, here is the alien crazy ball. This is crazy ball extreme, and you can see um, it's kind of got a flag concept, a waving flag. So there's a million. It's a, it's absolutely unlimited what you can what you can do on the graphics on these things. Um, so don't let it limit you. You can even do something else. Uh, as you can see, these uh, little parts right here is nothing more than that glued on and that's just a poster board so you can decorate it in, in, in any, any color you want uh, sky's the limit you can you can do whatever you want to with it uh, it, it's a, it, mail, it uh, brings together uh, airplanes and art and customization you can do whatever you want to with it see what I mean this is uh, right here. This is uh, hot pink. So you can do any color, anything you want to. You can even use the uh, poster board, uh, the foam board, art board. It's covered in uh, black. There is a black available, so you can do it that way as well. Okay enough about all the different varieties we'll get on with it let's build some crazy planes got one more 
just to show you uh, that you can change the size just by the what you put the printer, uh, what size you want the printer to print. That same alien uh, crazy ball, we got a big one. This one looks so funny when it's sitting in, in the passenger seat of the car. Um, and somebody drives by the car and, and that's and they see probably from here up uh, a really close look just to see what they're looking at. And we done had a little fun with it. We put a little scarf on the back of it. And that blows in the wind and it looked really wild when you're flying this thing. That plane will do just about anything. It's just like a, but it's more of a trainer type. The one with the flag is the ultimate extreme and uh, it's, it's much, much more agile than this one is.